Intel 13th generation processors will launch tomorrow. It means that we will see independent reviews from all the major publications and you will be able to buy one of these processors along with a new Z790 motherboard starting tomorrow. But today I have some last day leaks coming straight from Intel pre-launch event held for the tech press and analysts, which covers what to expect from Intel 13th gen CPUs. That includes gaming, as well as productivity performance comparison versus the latest AMD flagship, Ryzen 9 7950X. Before that, a quick message from a sponsor. Buy your Windows 10 or 11 key for less from cdkeyoffer.com at the link in the description below. Use code IV20 to get a 25% discount that brings the price down to as low as $16. You can securely check out with PayPal and receive your Windows key in minutes, ready to be activated on your PC. In total, Intel is launching six new processors. Those are i5 13600K and 13600KF, i7 13700K and 13700KF, as well as i9 13900K and 13900KF. FYI, the only difference between K and KF is that KF CPUs do not have integrated graphics. Everything else is identical. i5 13600K features 14 cores and 20 threads, 5.1 GHz maximum core boost and 125 Watt TDP. The price is set to $330 for 13600K and $310 for 13600KF. i7-13700K comes equipped with 16 cores and 24 threads, 5.4 GHz max boost and 125 Watt TDP. 13700KF costs $430, while 13700K $450. i9-13900K is the flagship product with a $660 price tag. 13900KF costs just $30 less at $630. It is a 24-core, 32-thread monster CPU with a 5.8 GHz maximum core boost and 125 Watt TDP. By the way, TDP is not the same as the total power consumption. This processor will draw a lot more than that in CPU-heavy workloads. Now let's talk about the performance. According to Intel, i9-13900K is on average 11% better than Ryzen 9 7950X in gaming. Of course, take this statement with a pinch of salt, as we all know that companies like to cherry-pick their benchmarks. We will have a better understanding of the real performance difference tomorrow when the reviews are out. But if we take these numbers at face value, then it means that 13th gen processors are about 10% better than the 12th gen. That is close to our expectations and is enough to dethrone AMD's Ryzen 9 7950X. However, not for long. If you are following my content, then you already know that AMD has a secret CPU lineup, which is expected to launch early next year. I am talking about Ryzen 7000 series processors equipped with 3D vCache technology, which should bring about 15% performance improvement in gaming. This would allow AMD to reclaim the top position in benchmark charts. But here is some food for thought. A $300 Ryzen 5 7600X offers flagship level of performance right now, so does it even matter? If we are talking about gaming only, then I think any one of the new processors will do a perfectly good job as they are all incredibly fast. In my opinion, the only reason to get a more expensive CPU is if you are using it for work. Speaking of which, Intel claims that 13900K is pretty much on par with 7950X in Puget Bench, Photoshop, Premiere Pro and After Effects. Also, it offers 4% better performance in AutoCAD and 16% in Autodesk. What do you think about Intel 13th gen processors? Are you going to get one? If this video was helpful, then you know what to do. It was I, Vadim. Until next time.